Hello, investing friends. Welcome into Investors Club Big Dividends, the Tuesday at 2 uh, Big Dividends special stream just for subscribers. Great to see you guys. Got a great show for you. Got a, uh, got a dividend grower that is a sleep well dividend paying stock. Got a, a stock that is a domestic U.S. agriculture and ranch, farm and ranch play that has a sustainable competitive advantage uh, with uh, by getting funding from the U.S. government, getting backing from the U.S. government, and that is Farmer Mac. Very exciting. We'll take a look at Farmer Mac, and we'll take a look at the portfolios. Dividend stocks have been recovering a little bit, so the yields are down a little bit, so the stocks are up a little bit, so that's good. And we'll talk about anything you want to as I push through under the weather. We'll get, uh, we'll, uh, and we'll get through it. Uh, we've got a, got a great show. So, uh, not investment advisor, not investment advice, number one ranked stock analyst in the world. What we're doing is the best research and analysis for you and me, the regular investor, because the financial media lies to us. It's controlled by the special interests and the hedge funds, and they don't have our best interests in mind, but that's okay. We have each other, we have Investors Club, and we'll do a way better job than those boneheads ever could. Anyway, if you like that, hit like. Uh, only one person here. Great to see you. Thank you for being here. And let's just get into it. Uh, let's take a look at the portfolios. High yield yielding 9.66. Pretty good. It was up over 10. Has recovered 5.87 for the sleep well. 3.48 for dividend growth and global tax shelter 4.75. Again, we went through every cash paying security in the world. We uh, came up with 142 best ones. And they're in here. Got them uh, separated by sector. So you can check it out. Sector communications, computer cyclical, computer stable, consumer stable, energy, uh, BDC, closed end fund, financial insurance, financial various, industrial, materials, totally awesome stuff. Or you can get them alphabetical. And then we pick the best ones for those four different strategies. Totally awesome stuff there. Let's get into the, uh, the stock. Federal Agricultural Mortgage. So Federal Agricultural Mortgage Corporation, Farmer Mac, is a rare stock that is backed by the federal government as well as backed by the value of American farms and ranches. It also pays a healthy, safe, qualified, and growing dividend. Remember, there's qualified dividends and then there's uh, non-qualified dividends. So if the basically, if the corporation pays corporate tax... And then you would pay full tax again. That's double taxation. So if, if, if it's a regular corporation paying corporate tax, you're supposed to pay a qualified. If it's something like a pass-through, like a REITs or a business development company, uh, those don't get taxed ahead of time. Then you get taxed fully. So qualified means you pay uh, lower taxes. Healthy, safe, qualified, growing dividend. We think AGM is a perfect stop to weather this stag stagnation, stagflationary and less global economy while providing a healthy return. Lending to farming lenders. The aptly named Federal Agricultural Mortgage Corporation's main line of business is leading to lending to institutions that lend to agricultural and rural America, mostly providing funding for farm and ranch mortgages. This is because AGM has a congressional mandate to offer a secondary market for agricultural loans and is the reason the company was originally formed after the 1980s collapse of the agricultural credit system. So in 87, Farmer Mac initially chartered by Congress, uh, IPO in 1988, da-da-da-da-da-da. Funding advantage. Happily, this mandate, quote, authorizes Farmer Mac to purchase and guarantee securities backed by USDA securities. So that's the U.S. Department of Agriculture. This federal government backing means Farmer Mac is a supremely good credit risk and has a sustainable competitive advantage in funding. So if Farmer Mac can't pay its bills, the Department of Agriculture can. It borrows money very easily, 10-year U.S. Treasury rate plus 0.34% as of December, end of 21, and turns around and puts it to work at a higher rate, rate of return. So they get very low rates of return from the federal government, or they get very rates low return to borrow money because they're backed by the federal government. And then, so that, and that gives them a higher uh, a net margin between what they borrow at and what they loan at, a net interest margin, a very high net interest margin. 
And so it's a great business model. In 2021, the return on equity was 16%. Really terrific for such a safe company. That's a terrific return on equity. 16% is a terrific return on equity. That looks more like a good year in a company that takes more risk. And uh, they have a, a steady business model to keep churning that out. Mostly, PharmaMax lending goes to providing credit to farmers and ranchers for mortgages. It's accrued a 5.8 share of the $302 billion U.S. agricultural mortgage market and is pretty well diversified. So we got about half crops, 22% permanent plantings, that would be like apple trees, 19% livestock, 5% part-time farm, 4% storage and processing. And then by region, they're diversified pretty well. I won't uh, read the regions, they're diversified pretty well. The company also does other agricultural and rural financing, including a small but growing utility and renewable energy play, which we find intriguing. And so they, uh, the spread, you can see most of their businesses farm and ranch with a pretty good spread. The, they do corporate ag finance, which is a better spread, but it's a smaller part of their business. Uh, their utilities is a pretty big part of their business, six billion versus sixteen billion for the for the farm and ranch loan, but it's a small spread, 0.19. But utilities, very steady stuff. And then renewable energy, very small part of their business, only a hundred million in value, but 1.53 for the spread, very high. Okay. Anyway, mostly farm and ranch lending. Lending to companies that that lend to farm, to folks that buy farms and ranches, mortgages. Healthy, safe, and growing yield. The good farmer currently yields a healthy 3.71%. So look elsewhere, shorts. It's actually up to three point, down to 3.3% because it's gone up. Stock has gone up. The yield looks safe as the values of the American farms and ranches generally look safe. Look generally safe, but it is better than that as Farmer Mac focuses on safe loans in this safe space and has a very low default rate. A 0.2% 90-day delinquency across all lines of business versus 1.11% for the industry. So that's very low. One out of 500. A dust bowl scenario. Seems like what it would take to disrupt the good times. The company has raised its dividend 11 years running. With its sustainable funding advantage and the growing value of farms and ranches, we think the Mac Daddy can continue to grow for a long time. To this end, the company has a good growth strategy, including funding renewable energy and rural broadband projects. So as you go up from bottom to top, this is expanding the business they already have. And so uh, renew they're going to expand the renewables. Okay, very good. As we go, uh, oh, excuse me, broaden, as we go up, they're broadening into new areas. As we go to the right, they're deepening the areas they already are. So they can see they're going to expand more into renewables and uh, where, where they're not very large now. We saw only $100 million, And then expand out in the loan process efficiency, etc. So they got some ways to get larger. We love Farmer Mac for its government-backed sustainable competitive advantage. At just over $1 billion in market cap, Warren Buffett cannot buy these cash flows, but we can and should. So that is Farmer Mac. Great stock. And I am not doing too well here as far as my uh, ability to speak and things. Uh, so thank you guys for being here. No comments. That's fine. Great to see you. We'll do it again next week. We'll be on the Big Dividends channel next week. I tried to stream on that channel, but it's still, it made me like start over trying to, to submit for streaming. So I got to wait 24 hours. Anyway, thank you for being here and we'll do it again next week. And I'll see you in the Discord. Have a great week.